Yeah. 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 Yeah
colors. You know what I mean? Like the foreground and the background. There's the background. Yeah, yeah. And there's there's ways for us to be engaged. We're like, oh, we teach the podcast. This is a little bit about what it's about. There's little pictures. There's fun things to look at, and you're actively engaged with the material. And that is kind of what Canvas tries to do: is to take the boring atmosphere that is created by hi, Danny, welcome, sit wherever. Um, that is created with content, and we just bring it to the next level. And that's how we aid others and be more engaged and getting them more material out of it and having something to relate to and yada yada. yada. Um, so, we're going to continue. We're going to transition to how to actively use Canva. But before we do that, um, can someone tell me if they have any familiarity with Canva at all? Cool. Keep your hand up if you have an account. No, no account. Do you have an account? I was shared. Maybe keep a separate account, which I want to ask you about. Hi, um, Keep your hand up if it's sanctioned through Julia. That's what I want to ask. Yeah, that's what I want to ask. Okay, is it with your Juniata credentials, like your username and password? So I did sign up with my Juniata email, yes, but do not get the account of education that I was told. Gotcha. So I think I did something wrong. Okay, cool. So my dear friend and boss, Tom, in the back, hi. Um, is there a way to change that? Just have them re-sign up again and then out for okay. when it comes So in. just sign out, re-sign in with your junior email and password, and then there should be a little thingy that pops up that says, do you want to use this for educational purposes? And then Tom will get the alert that says, so-and-so would like to access Canva for education. And then you can So we'll wait for like a minute or two for people to do that, if you would like to. I'll do sign up for Canva. If not, that's OK, too. Yes, Dan? Just at the same. You're going to not like me for this question. But, so for Campus Life, we have it set up, I'm pretty sure, with one of our Campus Life emails. Um, but also, okay. but not like the email and password for the It's like, so it's like presidential life at junior.edu. Mm -hmm. And then we just made our own account and own password. Yeah. And so we have a lot of content on there okay. that we use like year to year. Is there any way to convert that account that already exists into a Canva professional account so we can access all the cool things? That's a or do we have to like start completely over? Let me look, get back to you on that one. I'm I'll look sure. it up. Great. Because I'd rather have Canva.com. How do I sign up? Okay, so you just go to Canva.com um, and then there's a little button that says sign up. Yeah. So you'll hit sign up and then use your Juniata email and Juniata password. That's it. Yeah, it's been, then you have an email address, right? Would be the option. Or sign up with your email? Yep. And then it'll ask you if it's going to be Yes. Okay. Yes, and then you just click close it. Anyway, I just sent you an invite, so you should get that in email as well. Yep. Okay, now in the middle of it, so does that matter then, or should I just Keep go going. to him? Keep going? Yep. And then we'll see, it's not, we'll, it'll. Should have gotten a code in my email. Any other to work? I think so. So I just have to put in my code then. Mm -hmm. Or maybe later, or what? Which one do I choose? Try the, go ahead and try the pro. For, go ahead and try the pro. It says start my free trial. Sure. Because I I have you listed here, so I'm hoping that it latches up with the email address. Yeah. Okay. So. Thomas. 
they pass uh, an option for a yearly and then a monthly? Yeah. Go ahead and check your email once and see if there's an invite and just click on the invite and see if it comes out. Uh, you have been invited to join a school candidate. Person. Person? Okay. Click on it. Is that uh, Or should I delete it? Uh, you can delete a show either. If he has a GM email account, I could put it in. Do you have a question? Do you have a question? I'll not invite students right now. I'll just say maybe later. Who is that? Invite students to your question. Maybe later. Yeah. Danny, do you want me to send you an invite too? Sure. So you have it. Yeah. Yeah. So you have an email. Maybe use a different Yeah, so they can bid it on sort of things. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, but okay. So it will be deleted in 14 days. I should be fine still. It says if you want to restore your. We don't have him destroy it. I'll send him another. Okay. Okay. Just what's the what's the email address? Three twenty. You, you'll get an invite. I did get an invite. Mm -hmm. And then the gentleman there beside you. It's Kim G X twenty. G X. Twenty. Yep. Yeah. Um, so just double check. Kim. Yep. G S. Yes. Yeah. Twenty. Actually, yeah. Yes, sir. You may get two. I know you're gonna get one.
to the first slideshow. The problem is just being what Eric said that we have a lot of different examples of that. We want engagement in lectures and in the pacing. Our solution, design, interactivity, personalization, color, fun. I love purple in case you didn't know. A little Taylor Swift reference for you. Okay. So now I am at the Canva homepage. Um, if you all could navigate to this website, or to this Canva website, that'd be great. Okay, so if you are completely unfamiliar with Canva, that is okay. So there are tons of examples to um, help get started. So you can do a doc, you can do a whiteboard, presentation, video, Instagram post, flyer, there's a ton of different ones you can do. Um, there are different um, options up here that you can navigate as well, specifically for business, specifically for education, um, and it can help you out with how to get started if you're not sure. So, um, we're going to do a little sample one together. You don't have to do what I do. Um, you can putz around as you please as we go through. I'm just going to walk through all of the different things that Canva can offer. Alright, so let's pretend I'm doing... I do this a lot, so I'll do an Instagram post. And we're going to come to this blank slide. And we're going to start here at the design tab, which is what um, will pop up when you hit um, whatever template you're going to use. So you could do a style, where you pick a color palette or a font palette, and it'll match you with different colors. So you could do that if you don't want to be um, original or from scratch. Or you could do a template. And there's a million and one plus infinity templates that you can choose from. So you could start from here and kind of tailor those templates to what you're trying to um, promote or create or I, I don't know, whatever you use Canva for. Or you could get really creative and start with elements. So elements are literally anything that you can think of. There's pictures, there's videos, there's graphics, shapes. I can search literally anything like um, paint. And click here and make this my background, for example. Um, so Go ahead and play around with that. You can choose your own background. You could do a template if you want. You could do a color palette. Um, so, yeah, I'll stop there and let you explore a little bit. Yes, Tim. That's the uh, text of image. By <laughs> using AI, that's really cool. Uh, yes, there is. We will play with that a little bit. Isn't it cool? It's called Magic Media. Okay. <laughs> Instagram posts, you know, um, and I don't is. even have Instagram posts. Oh, well then never mind. You so where, where do you find that it out there? Um, it is, so you click on social media. I see. I clicked on presentation, so. Oh, yeah. gotcha, so gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's under that there, so. Yeah. One quick so, note okay. from the peanut gallery for the faculty that are in the room. Uh, there is a Canva plugin in Moodle now. Oh. That if you build something that you want to go in and create a template, that you want your students to fill out or use, you can link to it, and then when they look at it, they can make a copy of the document and edit. Basically, that you created in Canva. Yep. So that it'll look right back to Canva. So you can build it in Canva, and it'll have a link into Google. Do they have to have a Canva account, or do they automatically have? Yeah, I think it automatically does a pass through straight into what you have a link to. So they don't have to log in directly. That's correct. So they they get into the file. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Alright, so, so pretend you have a background and you're ready to move on. 
So there is more elements that you can add, such as graphics or videos. So let's say I want zebras. And oh my gosh, look, it's a picture of a zebra. And it appears on the screen. And I can size it to what I want and make it, I don't know, He's a friend. Um, or I, I, I don't know, I know this is like kind of basic, but you can search whatever you want in that space bar, and, or in the search bar, and it'll come up with videos and photos and zebras, or you know, whatever you put in there. It's pretty massive, the amount of things that you can search through Canva, so that is really, really awesome. Um, and then once you're finished creating the background and adding other elements that you want to add, you can move on to brand. If you have a brand or a logo that you want to implement, you could upload your own stuff. Um, so this is stuff that I have on my computer um, that I have uploaded. And if you want to add more to this um, profile, then you can upload files. And you can search your computer to, to get those files. Please tell me if I'm going to ask so uploads are files that you yourself upload? Yeah, it, it's on your computer and you can just add it into that little database, for lack of a better term, and then add them in. Like I, I have this picture of Abbott Elementary, the TV show, that I used for another project, and it's just in there now. So, um, If you don't like an image, you can click on it. There's a trash can. It's really easy. Okay, so once you're satisfied with that, we're going to go up to text. You can hit add a text box, or you can search for whatever font you're looking for. So if I wanted um, cursive, for example, there are a million What? Ones. You can do this? Yes. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. Um, so this one's pretty cool. And I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to make it big. And I'm gonna be like, hi, or hey there. And I can move it with this little icon right here to wherever I want. I could also stretch it. And I could also continue to make it bigger. So that's cool. You can do that with whatever font you choose, pretty much. Um, and there's also a cool feature where you can make an effect. Um, there's a ton of different ones you can choose from. You can make it curved like that if you want. Um, colors are right here. Any color that you can think of is in there. They also can search your photos that you have. So see, I have um, my zebra and my pink clouds that pulled the picture, pulled the colors from the picture. So you can kind of match everything, and it'll all be the same color scheme. So that's something that's unique to Canva that not every software has, which is super cool. Alrighty, so that is all that there is for text. Um, I can put in a video. I can put in audio. There's different um, songs down yeah, right here. Audio that I can put. Um, since I put a zebra in, I suggested on the savannah or wildlife explorer because it knows and that's super cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and play around with that for a little while. Um, and then after that, we'll go to the, the tools. Or not the tools, the apps. So I'll let you go for a little bit. <laughs> Isn't it? 
further for myself. It's like Microsoft Word, but like third grade. You could also hit um, if you X the on the search bar and then cursor. I didn't word that correctly. Yeah, hit add a text box. You could also do the drop down list there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. You're you're mostly a pro. How's it going, how's it going? Good, good, thank you. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just trying to see what elements there are, you know, to the data, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, for our last little bit of time, I'm just going to show other things that you can do. Um, if you hit the apps, which is on the very bottom left-hand corner, um, it will show you um, AI animate features. Um, you can do gradients with text, um, voiceovers, image upscaler. So cool. Um, yeah, you can pretty much explore on here. Um, making QR codes. But my favorite thing is called Magic Media, which is only available on Canva Pro, which is cool. Um, so. If I were to say, monkeys eating pizza in space. You've sent that invitation to campus life at Juniata to you. Would that be possible? Cool. Wait, did you just search for monkeys and pizza? Yes, I did. And how did you, how did you access that search bar? So, left, bottom, left hand corner, I'm going to just say apps. Yeah, you did say apps, and then I searched for magic media, but then there was a place where you type in the search for. Oh, you just click this one there? Yep, it's going I see. Yep. And then where's the search? Hit open. Because you haven't used it before. And then um, just in the little black box. This one here? Yep. Thank you. So, you can pretty much let your mind go wild for that one. It's a new feature. The first day that we discovered it, Bella and I went crazy with all kinds of random, all kinds of random stuff. I could also do, oh my gosh, look, Magic Media is breaking box office records. I love it a lot. Is everyone seeing it right now? Um, That just came out of my brain. Right. I, I just, I love it every time. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Hooray! Like, look at that! Are you in, Danny? I'm in, and I think it just updated our actual accounts all the way Tom, you're amazing. I appreciate you. I'm going to close out of all my candle tabs here and test them out. Yeah, so use your imagination. Let them run wild. Um, once you have created the content of choice or media of choice of your dreams, then you can either share it up here in the right hand corner. Um, you can add people that are already part of Canva in the search bar right here, or you could download it um, and then email it out to others, which is what I do a lot. Um, or you could use it to present. So if I did this. And monkeys. And mac and cheese. And all the great things. Okay. So, um, you can feel free to mess around for as long as you want. Let me know if you have any questions. That's all I got. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. So cool. Now you can use it for 
all of your um, class presentations or assignments or if you're creating lesson plans or what what have you. It's always it's always a thing.